is Matt Fisher with a brand new video for you. So I wanted to talk to you about intermittent fasting, also called just IM, and specifically two diets based off of it. So when you're intermittent fasting, what you're doing, you're just not eating for a specific amount of time. That's all it is. Now the time varies. Now one diet is called the 16-8 diet, the other one we're going to call it a 24-hour uh, fast. Okay, they have different uh, goals in mind, or different ways to go about the goals, and you can use both, or you cannot, but here's what it is. So, when you're not eating, you're not putting in energy. <laughs> so, as you expend energy, you lose weight. There is some science behind all the benefits a fast does for the body, and the science is legit. However, when you talk about increased growth hormone, all this kind of stuff, it's not that big a deal. What is a big deal is that you're reducing the calories that you take in. So it's one way to create a caloric deficit. You create a caloric deficit, you lose weight. That's simple. Okay, the 16-8 diet, very simple. You are fasting for 16 hours a day and you are eating in a little eight hour window. Now, during that fasting time, part of it you are going to spend sleeping very easy so essentially what you do you are skipping a main meal most people like to skip breakfast so you're going to skip breakfast and say you can eat at 10 o'clock your first meal and your last meal is around six so for that eight hour window you eat and you know before 10 or after six you stop and you can change this eight hours you could have your first meal at 12 you can change this eight hours. You could have your first meal at 12, your last meal at eight, first meal at seven, you know, 11, last meal at seven. You know, the eight hour time doesn't really matter. But what this does, you can only eat so much food in an eight hour window. You know, you feel full. So it's a way to teach you to eat the proper amount. Now, in that eight hour window, if you go to the buffet, and you take in 5,000 calories, you're not going to lose weight. Okay, this is a concept that a lot of people still, you know, have not grasped. That the amount of calories is what's important. But it's just much easier if you're skipping a meal as so you're having three meals a day. And each meal is like 900 calories. Let's say you're, you're a guy like me. Um, that's a total of 2,700 calories. If you're active, you can absolutely lose weight with that caloric amount. But for three meals, those are you know, pretty big meals. If someone's having five meals and have that amount, too many. So it's a way to control your eating. The 24 hour fast, and again, a lot of this time you will spend sleeping. So let's say you have your last meal at 6 p.m. Your next meal will be 6 p.m the following day to so go 24 hours without eating. Obviously, if you go that long without eating, the amount of calories you take in are lower. Now, in that one meal, if you were to have a 5,000 calorie giant, you know, cake, binge, ice cream, yeah, not gonna work. But if you have one reasonable meal, even a large meal, let's say 1,500 calories, then a little bit later on you have 500 calories, that's a 2,000 calorie day. Now, if you're like me, that will put you in a caloric deficit. So with intermittent fasting, there's nothing magical about it. The amount of calories you take in is still what's important. But for people who follow this, it's much easier to have a very reasonable you know, caloric amount. Now, right now, it's about 5 in the morning. I get up early with this. Uh, if I have a, my first meal now and then eat every three hours, you know, even small meals, that could put me at, you know, four and a half, five thousand calories. If you're doing a lean bulk, fine. But to lose weight in that amount, good luck. If I'm eating an eight hour window or taking 24 hours off from eating, relatively simple to put yourself in a caloric deficit. Now, if you don't like this, don't do it. You do not have to. This is just another tool for you if you want to control the calories you put in in an effort to lose weight. You still need to exercise. You still need that cardio to expend the energy. 
If you're trying to lose weight just through diet, it's a long and tedious journey. But this is a way to control your eating to make the weight loss much quicker and easier. You know, think a lot of people, myself included, we don't have time for breakfast in the morning. We're scrambling and ready for work. So having your first meal at 11, you know, last meal at 7, that's a very normal thing. And it's very easy to have a very healthy diet within that range. Okay, guys, have a great day.